Hey guys, welcome back to the A Day in the Life series. My name is Sana, I'm a third year international student from India and I'm in the Bachelor of Arts program, currently majoring in philosophy, politics and economics. So I'm also a student content creator, so I'm going to be showing you around what a, what a day in the life of an art student looks like. Also, um, I kind of forgot to film an intro, <laughs> so just pretend I'm wearing like pajamas, but I got dressed already. So it's about 9.30 in the morning and it's a Tuesday, I have three classes today. So big day ahead of us, gotta get a bunch of stuff done, but um, yeah, let's get started. Wait, I'm gonna go back. On my readings for today. The way the arts program here, the Bachelor of Arts program here is structured is that there's a lot of, in your first few years, you'll take a lot of courses in different disciplines that are not directly related to your major. They fulfill the arts requirement part of your degree. So for example, I did courses in statistics, I did courses in one course, actually, I don't know why I'm saying plurals, but um, I had to take stats, I had to take a course in anthropology, in geography, and some people like that, some people don't, some people don't know, really know what they want to major in, so getting those general requirements out of the way is really helpful. For me, it was helpful because um, I knew that I wanted to do PPE, that's a big reason of like why I applied here, because it's offered, it's a really good program and it's offered here um, on the Okanagan campus. But um, I really appreciated the diverse perspectives that I got in my studies from different fields. So, you know, like seeing what a statistics class is like, or seeing what a geography class is like, or seeing what an anthropology class is like. If I'd only taken, like, I love my major, but if I'd only taken classes in my major, I wouldn't have had an exposure to those things. So I really appreciate that um, the way the program is structured, I got to, like, sample what different social sciences are like. And it was really helpful um, well, as I specialized in my program because I could use those perspectives and have like a more more holistic approach to the way that I'm learning. Um, I'm a PPE major, but I'm specializing in politics. Uh, so the PPE major, um, at the end of the fourth year, you're requ it's kind of like an honors program, but not really. So you have to do an undergraduate thesis at the end of your fourth year. So in order to do that, you have to pick your specialization, which just means what professor you're going to do your undergraduate thesis with. So there's four options. There is philosophy, politics, and economics, and the law specialization. So, un so if you're a lot of people who are interested in going to law school, end up taking the law specialization. And um, it's just a little more structured than the other three. So the way the other three are is that whatever you're specializing in philosophy, politics, or economics, you'll end up taking um, slightly more classes in your last two years in that discipline compared to the other two. So for example, I'm doing my uh, specialization in politics. So I'm taking more poli-sci courses compared to the other two. And yeah, I really like the freedom. And I really like the sort of mix between like um, sort of liberal arts type of like diversity in my courses while also having a little more structure and specialization. I think I, I really appreciate um, how I get to go through that. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish my readings, hopefully. I'm actually in the same class as my roommate and she's already there and I still haven't done the readings. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get on that and hopefully make it to class on time. Um, I just came out of my second class, first class of the day. I just came out of my first class of the day and it was a seminar and I yapped so much and I'm absolutely ready to sit in a lecture and listen. So I'm gonna head to my second class of the day. Mm -hmm. 
I realized I spent too much time in the EME. The EME is the Engineering Management and Education Building, and I'm in neither of those faculties. <laughs> but um, our classes are all spread out, so we we're everywhere. I'm never serious in <laughs> Hi, um, I'm here with Dr. Pico. He's a, a professor of economics here at UBCO, and he's also the coordinator of PP, the PPE program, which is my major. So, um, Dr. Pico, do you have any advice for p people who are considering the Bachelor of Arts program here or would like to go into the social sciences? I think try a lot of things, right? We have, uh, if we have something great here at UBCO Clinton, is that we have a lot of programs in the arts. And so try classes, you know, look at what you would like. Um, open your mind. And, and that's exactly what the social sciences will help you do. You know, you will see different perspective, different way of seeing the world, and therefore that will help you think more critically about the world that you're living in. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully that helps. Yeah, thank you so much. So I just got out of my philosophy class and then I met with the professor and then I got some lunch from Jay's Cafe. They ran out of $5 meals, which was very tragic, but um, we stay winning, we go. And I really like coming out of philosophy courses because, or like classes specifically, because they make me feel a little stupid. And I really like that. I mean, it can cause imposter syndrome, like you can, like, feeling too stupid is a problem. A little bit stupid is fine. Or actually, too stupid is also not a problem, because that means you're learning. Like, if you come out feeling like you knew less than when you came in, that's a good thing, because that means your beliefs are being challenged, you're intellectually, you're being intellectually challenged. And that's the whole point of an education, actually. And I really appreciate, you know, like you go to bed and you look at through the day and you're like, oh, I did learn something. And if, even th if that means I knew less than what I did starting out, like if you're the smartest person in the room, you're probably in the wrong room. And being in a university is a great experience in that way, or especially being in the arts because you get exposed to all these different things. And people, I think that's the subtle difficulty of being in the arts is that you're actively learning but it's such an intuitive kind of learning like you're not crying over assignments you don't have like math problems or whatever but you're still like learning in ways that you didn't think before you're learning like different ways of thinking and some, sometimes I think that can be harder than just like regular difficulty of like like you know like tangible difficulty like I think it's the intuitive difficulty that becomes a problem but yeah, that's my spiel for today, and the, that's that's on the philosophical side of things. On the practical side of things, I'm gonna have to do my homework again. I'm gonna have to do my readings again. I'm gonna have to do my notes again, and that's a good thing because that means I'm learning, I guess. So I'm gonna go do that. So it's about. 5 p.m. right now and I'm done with my readings for my next class which is a good thing, super proud of myself but um, I've given up trying to do my notes because I can't read the notes that I took in class and that's, that's on me so take, take good notes guys it comes to bite you later so I'm gonna go get coffee it's 5 p.m. is that a good decision? probably not but um, I need a little treat to get through the rest of the day Come here, little treat. So I ran into Idea in on my way to class. Hello. And Idea is an IR major. So yes. what do you I love am. about being in the arts, Idea? Yeah. Mm, I yes. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I am an international relations major, and I basically do like a lot of art subjects. Combined. Idea, what do you think about this stereotype of what is it? Idea, what do you think about stereotypes about art majors? What is one that you hear and do you think they're accurate? No, and I actually <laughs> have strong feelings on this. It's obviously okay. One that I hear the most is that art majors like don't do anything or like their majors are really easy or like they're not just they're just not real or they're not gonna get jobs. Oh my god. And um, I just think it's not. Wait. There's value in arts made in arts um, subjects that is not there for STEM subjects, and you can't really just compare the two because we really can't just have a world full of STEM majors. Yep. Start the STEM majors, but like people, we need people who are like sociologists and historians and political scientists because yeah. those are those are aspects of life or political aspects of life affect everybody 
And so you need people who are studying that and you need people who care about that. People with different perspectives on the same, on politics to be learning it. For you to have people who can represent you when you get older. So Basically. no, arts majors aren't useless. And I guess I'm just speaking for mine, but like from, from my own major, but people need psychologists too. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just comes from a larger societal <laughs> not me being an arts major right now but a, a larger <laughs> societal like undervaluing of these subjects mm -hmm. and it has to stop so next time a STEM major doesn't know how to analyze something maybe you should ask them how useful they are so it's almost 6 30 and I'm done with work I'm done with my readings and my energy levels are kind of down but I'm heading to my last class of the day which is a student-led seminar on liberation studies which means there's no professor and it's just students and it's the one that I'm most excited about today so hopefully that makes up for it so Belle and I are going to be presenting for today's class hey <laughs> Belle, what's your favorite part about your classes as an art student? Um, just get to connect with other art students and talk about stuff that interests me I think mm -hmm. So I'm back home now after a long day of working at the intellectual mines and now I'm gonna make dinner and go to bed. This has been really fun. I'll see you guys. Bye bye.